Hello. Good evening, dear friends. My name is Devans Fletcher, and today I will be taking a lecture on introduction to well planning and well classification. So, what exactly is well planning? So, well planning is a set of engineering activities that is needed as soon as we identify the subsurface target till the completion of the well. Means once we identify the prospect that it will give us the commercial hydrocarbon, then we first identify the target means exactly at what depth from the surface it is located. <laughs> from that, the well planning activities start until the completion of well is done. It includes the following prospect development means how the field is developed and how we can produce more hydrocarbons from the field. Planning of well trajectories. Since all the wells are not vertical, the planning of well trajectory is very important, whether it is the directional well, a horizontal well, or a extended reach well. The selection of a drill bit, mods, and tubulars is also very important. The drill bit is also important. For example, we use diamond bits if our formation is very high, and we use uh, the roller cone bit having the mile shape and the insert type teeth. If the formation is uh, soft or medium soft, then the mud. The mud is used to control the hydrostatic pressure, and the tubulars is used to produce the hydrocarbon commercially from the subsurface to the surface. Then we have to determine the casing setting depth. Means exactly at what depth the casing is set. It means the length of the suppose conductor casing, surface casing, intermediate casing, production casing, etc. Then a selection of a logging tool. There is LWD logging while drilling and MWD measurement while drilling. This logging while drilling is used to record the petrophysical properties. An MWD tool is used to record inclination, azimuth, and tool flow. All this we will study in detail in the further upcoming lectures. Till now, let us try to get acquainted with the basic terms and the test program and the design criteria. <laughs> the second is what is the objective of well planning? The safety should be the highest priority in the well planning. Means no matter what condition occurs, the first safety involves the priority of the person working there. Means the human safety should be our first priority. The second priority involves the safety of the well. Means the well should not be in a kick or a blood condition. If the kick can be controllable, but if it is not controllable, that is if the influx of hydrocarbon is so high that it cannot be closed by using the blowout preventers, uh, mud weight, etc., then the well is in danger and the blowout happens and the loss of millions of dollars occurs. So, minimum cost. The ob valid objective of planning is to minimize the cost, means we must try to keep the cost as much as low as possible without compromising the safety aspect, that is, the human as well as the efficiency of the operation. And we must also, the driller in, and the drilling contractor must ensure that there is a no problem like fishing, et cetera, which increases the non-productive time. As the non-productive time increases, the cost increases. So we must keep in mind that no such incidents or activities happens and the cost of the well is minimum. Usable, the hole diameter is sufficiently large so that the adequate completions can be made. Since the whole diameter we drill must be large so that the, the tubulars, casings, and the drill pipes, drill bit, and other drill string components can be lowered. The holes or producing formation cannot is not irreparably damaged. Means the producing formation cannot be damaged if irreparably. <coughs> As you can see, the graph is denotes well cost on y-axis and the well planning effort on the x-axis. So if the well planning effort is very low, means we are not considering the well planning effort, the well cost is increasing very high. And then as we continue to keep on well planning effort, then the graph is decreasing. So we can save our well cost as with the well planning efforts. So these are the different well type characteristics. What is a wildcat well? Uh, the wildcat well is the well which is drilled in a geological formation without any prior wells located into that prospect. Means it is the first well drill in a given area. So we have the only the geological information that is uh, collected by the geologist, etc. Okay. Then the second is exploratory well. 
the fact that site selection is done based on the seismic data and satellite survey, no drilling data is known in the prospective horizon. Here, the exploratory data is based on the seismic data, and the, we have the since we have no drill the well, the exploratory data is also very limited. So we can drill a well in the prospective horizon. Then a separate well is used to delineate the reservoir boundaries. After we drill the exploratory well, the step out well, what it does, we can find the extent of reservoir means where our what is the area of our oil in which it is distributed across the seismic data. It is usually based on the seismic data. As the seismic data will give the structural as well as the stratigraphic anomalies. So we on the basis of that we can step out the wells on the reservoir boundary. In fill wells, the wells drilled to clone the productive portions of the reservoir. Means in fill wells are the wells which are drilled which gives an idea about how much portions of the reservoir will give us the production commercially. All these things we discuss is the basically the commerciality of the hydrocarbon. It is usually based on the patterns, means uh, how the reservoir flow pattern is drainage. Radius. What is the extent of drainage radius? If one valve is the drainage radius is the radius up to which the effect of pressure boundary is felt. Re-entry well. The existing well is re-entered to deepen, sidetrack, rework, and recomplete. The re-entry wells is done if the we have the fishing operation, then we need to perform the side tracking operation. Uh, for example, suppose we have a well here, and now the fishing has happened here. So we need to do the re-entry operation like this. So that uh, we can overcome the fishing and drill further. And depending on the purpose of re-entry, means whether we suppose we have abundant well and we saw that uh, hydrocarbon has got accumulated again due to some tectonic activities, then we can perform the re-entry operation. Similarly, all we can discuss now about the well planning flowchart. What is the Well, planning closure. The first objective is the prospect development. The development of prospect, mention of which areas exactly of the block we get at the commercial hydrocarbon. Look, which area we have commercially hydrocarbon extract kar pa raha hai. Wo prospect development se pata chalta hai. Then the second is data collection. The data collection is usually based on the seismic data, the geologist data, etc. And the Data collection can also be obtained from drilling the wildcat well without any prior knowledge of the other well because it is the first well we can drill. The pore pressure analysis. The pore pressure is basically the formation pressure that is the reservoir pressure at, with respect to depth. Then fracture gradient prediction. The fracture gradient prediction is very important as if we keep the mud weight about the fracture pressure, then our formation will get abrupt fracture. So the our the drilling mud uh, hydrostatic pressure mud will less than the fracture pressure. And a pipe setting depth selection means exactly at what depth we need to select set the drill pipe. Then a hole geometry selection means uh, what size of hole we ne actually need to get. Based on this, we can get the completion planning, the mud plan means which type of mud we need to use cement. Uh, water-based mud, oil-based mud, gas-based mud, etc. The gas-based muds are mostly used in areas like uh, Arab countries where the aquifer support is very low. Water-based and oil-based muds are widely used. Cement plant. The cement plant is, is used to design the cementing between the casing and the formation. Then bit program. The bit program means it is used to Select the different sizes of bit to make the holes of a different diameter. Then we need the casing design. Means the casing is designed based on the burst pressure, collapse pressure, tensile strength, and, and uh, so there are basically five types of casing: conductor casing, surface casing, intermediate casing, production casing, as well as the lines. Then we design the tubing. Then we design the drill string. Then what is the difference between the drill string and the drill pipe? So the drill string is basically the assembly which composes of drill pipe, 
drill collars, galley, bottom hole assembly, stabilizers, reamers, centralizers, etc. And the drill pipe is basically used to circulate the drilling fluid from the galley to the bottom hole assembly to the formation and then out to the, the surface. The rig size and selection. Then, based on the above parameter, we select the size of the rig. Then, we predict the drill time production means exactly in uh, which time we would complete the drilling of well, like 45 days, 60 days, etc. Then, the final cost estimation is done. So, this is the flowchart of the well planning. And, second is other types of well classification. So, how are the well classified? As I have stated at the starting of my lecture, the well can be vertical well C. This is the point of vertical well. The well can be B, directional well. The well can be C, horizontal well. And well can be D, extended well. An extended reach well, the horizontal section of the well is very high compared to vertical section. It is in a ratio 2 is to 1. The vertical well is a straightforward, no deviation. The directional well is used if the prospect is below the urban area or where there are fishing has occurred in the well or it gives a more reservoir exposure. The horizontal well is especially used in the, the car coal bed methane reservoir so as to get the minimum hmm, uh, maximum exposure to the reservoir. Then what are the different other types of well classification? Classification based on the direction of flow. Injection well, the flow from <coughs> Surface to the formation in injection well. Suppose this is our surface and, and this is our formation. So the flow from surface to the formation is our injection well. And the production well is basically the flow from, from reservoir to the surface. It is a production well. Dead wells means there is a no flow of the well. Means the the well is abundant and we cannot inject or produce in the dead well. So from surface to formation, it is injection well. Either we perform the water injection or a gas injection to which to increase the recovery of the oil from the surface. It is basically the secondary recovery. Production well is the flow of the formation to the reservoir. When the crude oil or a gas which is flowing from the formation to the reservoir is the production well. Then a classification based on their use. Firefighting well. The wells drill to stop the blowout. We will discuss in the next slide along with the diagram. Just now try to understand it. Tester well. The well testing activities are done. That is the build up test, drawdown test, reservoir limit test, isochronal test, flow after flow test, etc. The monitor well. It is used to stop the move movement of crude on the aquifer means monitor well is used to actually stop the movement or guide the or observe the how the crude is flowing into the aquifer the relief well it is used to when the blowout occurs in a high pressure reservoir and if the reservoir pressure is very very high then the relief wells are used <laughs> now let us see what a firefighting well the firefighting well is a well drilled to inject the fluid, water, vapor, gas, etc. in order to stop the block. See, on the left hand side, we have a firefighting well. Well over the fluid such as water, vapor or gas is injected. And in this well, the blowout has occurred on the right hand side. So the fluid is injected into the reservoir to stop the blowout. So the, basically the firefighting well is an injection well. So in a firefighting well, the well production rate is slow. In the well production rate is slow because we are injecting the water vapor and gas into the reservoir. So the crude oil coming from the reservoir to the formation, its quantity will be decreased. Right. Now second, in a relief well, a well is drilled to divert the flow from undergoing blowout in order to reduce the amount of hydrocarbon reaching to the surface. Thanks. The relief wells are used when the blowout has occurred in a high pressure reservoir, as already discussed. Means in the suppose the wells on the right hand side is undergoing the blowout, and the, on the left hand side we have the relief well. So the relief well is used to drill into the existing well, <coughs> and then if we are not injecting any water vapor or gas into the reservoir, instead we are start producing the 
Royal from it. As a result, the pressure decreases and the blood gets reduced. So, in a relief valve, the reservoir pressure is very high. The crude oil production rate is also very high. So, it is basically a relief valve is a production valve. Kindly make a note of it. Then we can convert a firefighting to a relief valve and a relief valve to a firefighting valve based on the reservoir condition of temperature and pressure. Agar pressure is more than then firefighting ko relief well mein convert kar sakenge agar pressure kam hoga to hum relief well ko firefighting mein convert kar sakenge kyunki humko reservoir ka pressure main cheez hai ki maintain rakhna hai if we first relief well then we can convert to firefighting well once the pressure is reduced okay planning of well trajectory the objective is to describe the trajectory that trick the various target depth from starting location subjected to various conditions so well trajectory is used to reach the subsurface target from the surface. If the land is directly above the ground, then as we know that vertical well is preferred. <coughs> and the directional well is used, which has a different well profile based on the target depth and the horizontal displacement. So common directional well profile are build and hold profile, build, hold, and drop profile, that is S type. Deep QOP profile that is J type. It is used especially in a salt dome drilling. The slanted well profile means the in the slanted well profile, the drilling usually comments at the slanting direction. The single buildup profile and a double buildup. In single buildup profile, the well is reoriented at once to the 90 degree, and in a double buildup profile, the buildup section it has the well has the two buildup section with a different inclination based on the true vertical depth and a horizontal displacement means based on the true vertical depth means vertical well is a straight and horizontal displacement we can use the above well profile selection of drill bit tubular mud etc it involves the selection of appropriate rig bit tubular mud etc on the subsurface formation pressure etc the classification of pressure First, the geological pressure. It is of two types: overburden pressure and a fracture pressure. Here, overburden pressure is the pressure exerted by the rocks on the formation from which we are producing the crude oil. Then a fracture pressure. The fracture pressure is the pressure at which the formation will fracture. If the hydrostatic pressure of the mud is greater than the fracture pressure of the formation, then our fracture will be created into the formation, and we have loss lost the drill mud as well as the fluids fluid pressure formation pressure pore pressure formation pressure is basically the <coughs> pressure exerted by the fluids of the reservoir hydrostatic pressure is the pressure exerted by the mud column in the well injection pressure is the pressure exerted on the reservoir when we are injecting water or gas into the reservoir from the subsurface from the surface for well pressure well head pressure is the pressure at the well well head when we have producing the crude oil from the the formation and that time we have installed the well head and the pressure at the well head is called as a well head pressure then the second is bottom hole pressure the pre in the well the pressure at the bottom of the well is called as the bottom hole pressure that is as soon as the fluid enters the reservoir through the well bore the pressure at that point in a well bore is called as a bottom hole pressure <laughs> Then last is planning of casing setting point. To plan a setting depth and a casing string collection, we require several casing string in order to reach the total depth. This point we will further discuss in the next lectures in detail so that you can get a better idea about how the casing is determined. So basically, as I told, there are five types of casing: conductor casing, surface casing, intermediate casing, production casing, as well as the line. Now, do not worry, we will discuss in our further classes. A selection of logging tools, that is MWD, LWD, which will help us to know the real time data during the drilling, the formation we do logging. Test program and data and criteria to testing. Now, thank you. If you like the video, then please subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yes. <laughs>